Doro, congratulations. Uh, 20 out of 20, back on top of the podium with the individual. How does it feel, first thing? Um, yes, I'm really happy that uh, I was able to shoot clean today. Um, I was a little worried about uh, this morning um, because at the moment I, didn't, I don't shoot so good um, and I don't feel so confident in the shooting. So, um, yeah, I'm really happy that it works out today like uh, this with uh, four times uh, zero. Um, we heard the sound maybe of a split uh, target in the second uh, shooting. Uh, did you have a chance to analyze what happened there? Uh, no, finally it was not so a bad shoot, uh, sh uh, shot. It was more uh, the, sh the sound only and I was a little worried that it was not a really good uh, shooting. But uh, finally also the shooting time was good and uh, um, all the shots uh, the coach uh, showed me the, the shots and it finally was really good, everything, so I'm happy. <laughs> and the uh, ski shape uh, seems pretty phenomenal. Uh, we've seen uh, faster and faster loops. Um, is that also what you feel? Uh, no, I was, I just started and uh, then I was, um, you know, feeling a little strange because I wasn't sure if, it, it, if it's a good speed or not a good speed because at the beginning, you know, you don't have some um, you know, the others are starting more behind, so you don't know. And so I was just concentra concentrated about uh, my um, technique and uh, to be focused um, on, the, on the skis. And finally it was also the ski speed really good, but I don't know how it's possible, but <laughs> I'm really happy also. <laughs> We've seen uh, you having the fastest final loop. Uh, has that ever happened to you? No. It's also really strange, so I don't know what happens today, but for sure uh, my ski man was, uh, made a really good work because if uh, without uh, good skis it would not be not possible, but yeah, we will see <laughs> next days. <laughs> you know, this is also a historic day for Italy. It's the very first time two women are first and second. How special is it also for you to always be there when history is written for the country? Yeah, it's uh, a lot of years now, maybe 10, that uh, when we made, uh, you know, with Team Italy the first results. And it's a long time. Uh, of course, it's really nice still to be there, you know, after so many years. Because sometimes, you know, um, uh, I have some questions about myself and if it has sense to continue. And, and then, of course, uh, you make a really good race, you are able to win, and it's, re it's really nice again. So, uh, so yeah, I think we, have, uh, really, we had a really good season with Team Italy. And uh, there are also some young girls who are coming, so I think it's really good. Looks like it. And uh, what now for the rest of the season? You're obviously now fighting with Lisa for the third place in the overall. Uh, we know that uh, it means a lot for you to be up in the top in the overall. Yeah, of course, my main goal is not uh, to win the overall. I mean, uh, Julia Simon, she is really strong and, um, you know, uh, I already want to. So <laughs> it's not my main goal. My main goal was just to be again uh, with the top athletes. And uh, as I said, it's uh, so many years that uh, I'm able to fight with the, with the strongest girls and that it's, uh, that it's really good for me and I'm really happy about that. So now I'm just focusing uh, to make some good races and uh, the result doesn't matter. I mean, of course, I hope to make, uh, um, yeah, as, as I said, some good races, but uh, then we will see. I mean, it's just missing four individual races and then I go in holidays. <laughs> Sounds like a perfect plan. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Lisa Vitozzi, congratulations, a second place, never out of the podium in the individual. What does it mean to be so consistent in this format? Yeah, uh, it was a really surprise this year and uh, I'm really, really happy to take uh, the second place and also the small globe in the individual race, so fourth time on the podium, it means uh, a lot for me and uh, yeah, I'm really, really proud of myself. Can you get us through the race today? Because uh, the wind was calm, but it was really cold. And obviously you knew there was a globe to win. Yeah, uh, before the race, uh, honestly, I felt very nervous. But uh, uh, before, I, uh, before the start, I 
uh, thought I um, uh, said to myself, be focused on the work and uh, don't worry about the result and uh, easy and uh, stay calm. And <laughs> yeah, it works and uh, I'm really, really proud and uh, happy to to be back on the first uh, individual. Before the start, uh, I saw that you were also joking with uh, Julia Simon. Uh, how special is it to be able to fight for maybe a globe and with a friend at the same time? Yeah, it's uh, really nice and uh, uh, we, uh, we are uh, really close, but uh, yeah, uh, Julia, it's uh, a strong girl and uh, it's really hard to beat the, beat her, and but I try. I will try uh, until the end. So we will see. As for uh, the final shooting, uh, what were the thoughts uh, before the final standing today? I, I had uh, no no thoughts. So I just uh, uh, work, 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 and uh, fight for all the the targets and. Uh, after uh, Novemesto, I was uh, really uh, sad about uh, the pursuit. I missed uh, two times the last uh, shot and uh, I, I don't want to repeat again. And uh, yeah, I, I was, uh, it was uh, my day today and uh, uh, all the things were, were good. <laughs> what did you think when you heard the coach saying, you're second, the globe is yours? I already know that, <laughs> so uh, yeah. I oh, in uh, all the um, the last loop, uh, I had uh, a big smile on my face, and I know that uh, all the all the the girls that uh, was really close to me for the globe uh, when uh, was uh, uh, behind me. So I really enjoy the race uh, at the end, and uh, yeah, I'm happy. What does it mean for you to win a globe again? Uh, a lot. Uh, uh, it has been uh, two tough winter, two maybe three, and uh, yeah, um, all the work that I do it uh, went well, and uh, I'm back on the top. So uh, for me, it's uh, it's really nice, and uh, I'm so grateful to all the people that helped me to reach the top again and yeah I'm, I'm happy you should be congratulations thanks denise congratulations uh, another podium in the individual 19 hits uh, are you happy or disappointed that the one didn't go down oh no i'm really happy a podium is all the time really good and 95 percent and uh, and that uh, shooting is, is really really good and i had a bit problems today with the rifle it went not so easy because it was too so cold and but it was a cool competition i'm super happy that we are back in Östersund and with this really really good uh, condition it's real winter and yeah it was a uh, it was pure happiness to race here did you have the chance to see uh, where the one shot that you missed went and uh, did that change maybe the approach to the race or was it just like okay as normal can happen yeah, I had a bit of a strug uh, struggle in the zero ring. I was not totally sure if the brown shooting is going so well. And yeah, I uh, had a reaction for the wind, and but I was totally on the other side. I was a bit uh, shocked when I saw the picture. Uh, but then I was, ah, OK, it was clear I'm on the, f on, the on the wrong side. And then I clicked back, and then it was better for the second brown. And yeah, then everything is uh, yeah, it's possible when you have one in the first but you have to concentrate and focus for the three other shootings and yeah today it was not that much wind and then you know maybe one but not more than one and it's a bit pressure but i could handle it really good today you totally did uh, can you tell us how difficult it is to change uh, in terms of skiing because in novemesto we obviously had very different conditions on the tracks and today it looked quite uh, quite hard to work it was hard because the track is hard here in Östersund, but I like it really much. Maybe the, the speed in the beginning was a bit too high and I had a bit of problems. It was, I was a bit too tired in the last loop to push hard as I can, but I tried everything, but I think the, the muscles were a bit too tired for the top speed in the last loop. Um, but the track is really, really hard and 
and also the, the it is not soft to ski and it is yeah it's the this kind of uh, conditions what I like and I was looking forward also in the weather forecast and looking forward all the time to have the motivation from Östersund. <laughs> that sounds really good. Um, obviously you had the big goal with the World Championships. Now what's the goal until the end of the season? Yeah, just enjoy and uh, take every race with a lot of. Uh, yeah, that I enjoy the race and do what I can and try the best what I can and yeah, be focused until the last shot and the last meter of skiing in the season and everything. But what is coming now? It's uh, yeah, that's yeah, it's just um, enjoy a bit. But yeah, when you go out of the start gate, then you are in the race mode. But I have not that much pressure now because uh, World Champs at home went really well and. Yeah, now I'm looking forward to every single race and also for the team competition on Sun uh, Saturday. And yeah, it's really cool to uh, have such great conditions in the end of the season. And yeah, I will enjoy it every, every second in competition. Well then, enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks so much.